Thanks for joining us live here at the Grand Dunes Performance Center. And with me is the Director of Instruction and Club Fitting, Dale Catola. And we are getting ready to go over some really cool stuff that he does here at the Performance Center, and that is video analysis. So Dale, this is cool stuff. You know, I love watching this stuff. And so you're gonna kind of walk us through one of your current students that you're working with here. Yeah, so this is just a guy that was here yesterday, um, really good player, pro actually, um, and when I, when I do a lesson, we'll start them out on the grass, when we do video out there usually, just so the lighting's better, we kind of come back in here, and then um, we use the V1 to upload all the swings that I videoed out there, mm -hmm. and then I'll video from a few different angles, and then... So here I'll be able to compare him to maybe something that I wanted him to do and kind of show him, okay, if we're working on uh, your takeaway, then we may want it to look more like this, so on and so forth. And then there's all these different drawing tools that I can use to kind of help the student uh, see things better. If we want to change the color or any of this stuff, we can do that. We can... Uh, also, all the video that we take here uh, is saved. So I've got students that I've been working with forever, and we can go back and say, hey, 10 years ago, this is what you looked like, that and this is, is awesome. how good you look like now. Right. And then uh, whatever we talk about during the, the uh, lesson, the, the, the system will record it, and then we send it to them in an email. So they've got all their notes when they get home from the lesson. And they so can just go neat. back and watch their videos again. and. Yeah, some of them get obsessed with that watching some of them over get and over. Obsessed. <laughs> yeah. That is very cool. So it's you can do all, all kinds of stuff on here. So it depends. Um, I shoot from uh, all different angles, so we get we can get a close up of the club, and mm -hmm. just depending on who I'm working with, what I want to show them. pretty neat and they mm -hmm. like to see it and uh, again I like the video because it doesn't lie it's, it's yeah. you know this is what it is and you know right. and this is how we're gonna make it better and then when we make it better I'll film it again and we'll come in here and show it to them and then they kind of get a kick out of it and they get get some confidence going exactly and, and practice so yeah it's, it's almost like a progression of growth in a golf swing it is yeah and that's that's how I use the V1 as a progression uh -huh. and I'll they don't like to see it, but I'll go back and show them, like, okay, this is where you were two, two years ago. And they're like, oh, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> I just want to look at the good one. Uh -huh. But uh, it's pretty neat. Now, yeah. when it comes to the type of students that you work with, do you do video analysis for all your students? Or is it just, um, you know, certain students you want them to see? How do you determine when do they need video analysis? Uh, I, I would, I'm probably going to video almost everybody mm -hmm. if, they're, if they're coming for a lesson I'm gonna video them as far as how much I show them or, or how much they need to see that might change right or what they can understand but um, even if it's a beginner uh, especially if it's a beginner uh, I would do some video and uh, take some pictures and, and stuff and then I just send it to them to their email so when they get home right uh, they they can remember what we talked about and stuff like that uh -huh. A lot of times people come for a lesson and they're, they're excited and then they, they, they don't remember what I told them and then they get home and they forget. But this way, it's, you know, they've got it. So uh, right. I, I use it pretty well every lesson. Um, probably the, the lower the handicap, the more detailed we, we might sure. get. Right. But uh, even for, for basic stuff, I would use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are you able to help the student identify goals? So, you know, once they leave here, they have this awesome information about their swing and all in you know, your instruction, but it probably helps you determine your goals having this. It does. I'll, uh, in a first meeting with a student, I, I do a little more of the assessment um, and trying to do some detective work and figure out, you know, what they're doing, what we need to, what direction we need to go. And then before they leave that first day, we're going to have a good idea of where we'd like to be in whatever their goal might be, three months or six months or a, right. a year from now. And then uh, we'll do some like really slow motion swings with a with the video camera uh -huh. to show them, okay, this is kind of what we want it to look like. Right. And then these are the little exercises that you're going to need to do. Uh -huh. Sometimes we'll film the exercises and I'll send them to That's them great. as well. And um, 
kind of holds them accountable, and then mm -hmm. they, they kind of know, they have a picture of what they want to, where they want to be. So right. it helps, yeah. Well, I love that. So, folks, we are at the Grand Dunes Performance Center right now, and with me is Dale Catola. I love your comprehensive approach that you take here to instruction and club fitting. Um, it's not just, hey, give me a quick fix. You know, it's, it's more than that. I mean, you really, you're taking a student, whether they're uh, an elite golfer at the pro tour level or someone just coming into golf for the first time, maybe someone who's just retired and wanting to learn the game. And it's almost, you hold their hand through that yeah. process. And I think that that is so important with golf because you have to trust the person teaching you and giving you good information. You certainly have all of that. You have this and you know we've talked about flight scope and just you know you've been in this business a long time. Um, you're a highly renowned instructor so I love that approach because I like you know working with people who are comprehensive all the way from beginning to end. You know you have all this data and you can always go back and look at it so I love that. Yeah, it's a good way to kind of keep track of uh, how they're doing, and uh, you're right. It's uh, if you can create a, a good relationship with the person, mm -hmm. find out a little bit about them, they're they're more likely to trust you, and then they'll they'll be more inclined to kind of do what you want them to do, and it it helps them to relax too when they come here. Right. Sometimes they're nervous, and um, you know you just ask them questions about everyday stuff, and then right. before they know it, they're smiling, and, and they can kind of. Um, be their normal self and hit shots and um, right. I can kind of go from there. Yeah, so yeah. folks, you don't have to worry about Dale's not going to come film you in your, on your first shot here. You <laughs> get to come hang out with him for a little bit, kind of get to know him and he'll get to know you and warm up and so, you, you know, the process is slow going into it, which is helps relax them, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't start judging him until yeah. maybe the 37th <laughs> or 38th ball, something like that. There you go, there you go. Well, I can tell you, I'm relaxed in here, so we're inside right now in the indoor hitting bay, and um, nice cool breeze here in a summer day, so the, actually the temperature is really nice in here, and it's we're in the, the heat of summer right now, and it's nice and cool, nice breeze. Um, I'm very relaxed in here Can't right now. Can't yeah, yeah, this is great. So I do want to talk about a few other aspects because you have so many amazing things in here. I know we've just discussed the video analysis, but maybe let's go into a little bit about what's taking place when you have a student on the mat and maybe some of your favorite gadgets that uh, or tools that help you instruct. And maybe you can give us a golf tip b before I leave today. We can, okay. yeah. Uh, should we do that now? We're going to do that in a different segment? Or yeah, you, you know what? What we'll do is... Um, we will go ahead and do that now, and folks, just stay with us. Give us about one or two minutes, and we're going to get Dale here on the mat, and we're going to continue this conversation here at the Grand Dunes Performance Center.